What's up guys, Mizzo Frizzo from Pitchfork Academy here, and welcome back for another episode of Free From Fab, where I review the free for a short time assets off of Fab. Every two weeks, Fab offers three different asset packs free of charge, and whether you're a budding indie game developer or a 3D artist, or just someone who wants to add to their library of assets, these are most definitely worth checking out. In this video, I'll give you a brief rundown of what's included in this Fortnite's free asset packs, as well as share a few of my own thoughts on their utility and their quality. But just before we get started, guys, I'd like to invite you all to join our free and public Discord server, the Pitchfork Academy. It's a great place to connect with like-minded people, share some of your work, and maybe get some help. If you'd like to jump on board, the invite link is in the description and in the pinned comment. But without further ado, let's take a look at these assets. Alrighty guys, now as you can see here, this Fortnite's asset packs are freely available until September 23rd at 9.59 Eastern Time. And this go around, we have the Beach Forest by Maelstrom Library. Museum and Gallery by Evermotion and Radical Robots by Taco 3D. So let's jump on in and take a look at Beach Forest by Maelstrom Library. Okay, it says here in the description that this package is made with photogrammetry and photometric foliage techniques. All trees have a minimum of three LODs and billboards, and all 3D scanned meshes have soft blending material set up with landscape and other 3D meshes, and the high density forest comes with good optimization. And as you can see here, guys, what you're getting with this asset pack is basically 3D scanned trees, ferns, and rocks, which are all on display in this apparently procedurally generated showcase level. And what can I say, guys? These assets look really, really nice. I would say even better than Quixel Mega Scans. The rocks look absolutely amazing. And while the showcase level does contain some noisy rendering, I do think it's very, very impressive and seems to be optimized very well. As you can see here, it's a sizable landscape. And as I mentioned earlier, the trees have three LODs and billboards, and it's also you know, only drawing the foliage to a certain distance. But I just found it really, really impressive that you could zip to, you know, different spots on this landscape and everything looks really natural and really, really nice. It almost looks like the countryside in day Z if it were updated for modern times in terms of graphical fidelity. And there's really nothing else I can say about this asset pack, guys. If you need beech trees and great looking rocks and ferns, or even just the procedural generation that's going on in this asset pack, I highly recommend you pick up Beach Forest by Maelstrom Library while it's free from fab. Next up, guys, we've got the Museum and Gallery by Evermotion. And guys, this is not really an environment pack. This is more of an architectural visualization. And as such, this demo level is very, very heavy. Technically, the most recent supported engine version is 5.5. So I did first open it in 5.5. But in order to record these moving shots, I had to turn the viewport scalability down to medium. So Lumen was disabled. That's why everything looks really dark. But after that, I went ahead and opened the same project in 5.6, because in 5.6, there's been some pretty substantial improvements to Lumen. And in 5.6, with the viewport scalability on Epic, the frame rate was noticeably better. And by dropping it down to high, I was able to get these decent moving shots. So yeah, just be wary, although this does look very, very nice. It's definitely not game ready. So if you needed these assets for a game, they'd need some pretty heavy optimization. Because once again, guys, this is not really an environment pack. It's more of a photo realistic visualization. And it does look pretty great. So if something like this would be useful for you in your projects, grab it while it's free from fab. And lastly, guys, we've got Mike the Radical Robot by Taco 3D. And basically what you get in this one, guys, is a very, very nice looking stylized robot character mesh, which is customizable with a couple of attachments and all sorts of different colors and a whole bunch of animations to get you started. 
I'm not going to beat around the bush here. I really like it. I think the materials and the textures look really, really nice. And Taco 3D has been very generous with the animations that they include. With a whole bunch of attacking animations and locomotion, there's blinking animations, idle breaks. And I cracked open the skeletal mesh and it comes to just under 29,000 triangles. Which is nice and low for something like this. It runs very, very well. And I think this guy would look right at home in some kind of Ratchet and Clank style 3D platformer with these kind of stylized character designs. So if Mike, the customizable robot by Taco 3D would be useful for you in your project, go ahead and pick it up while it's free from fab. And that's gonna be it from me for this one, guys. If this video has been of any use or value to you whatsoever, please hit like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.